guys, it's me, Lori. I just thought I'd do a quick little short candid video. Um, just between you and me, um, I've been doing videos um, that have to do with the law of attraction and my path to riches. And I think along the way, I've been getting a little bit lost, a little bit confused. Here's my dapping panda. Okay. Um, I started the whole channel because I wanted to document my path to riches using the law of attraction, tricks and tips and methods that I know already and learn new ones along the way by watching all my favorite YouTubers. Um, now, the first thing Napoleon Hill says, you need to have strong desire. So in the beginning, my strong desire, my burning desire um, with, was to become rich. So my idea was to be able to manifest $5,515,836. That was my number. It's all written out on my spreadsheet, what I want to do with this money. Um, you know, where I live in Toronto, it's very expensive to buy housing. Um, I have two boys, one of them six, one of them is nine. I wanted to make sure both of them had somewhere at least, um, at least a condo or something that they can live in. Um, later on, buying a house is going to be brutal. So I want to kind of get them set up for the future so that they're not going to struggle. There's other things like paying off my own mortgage and also buying myself a lifestyle that I would like. So I wrote a book about five years ago. Five, I started nine years ago, but I really got serious about it about five years ago and it's being published right now. So in my statement, it said, I want to be a published author, um, a successful published author. So in my mind, that was the way that I was going to be successful. And the universe had given me the ability and the desire to write and I wrote all of it. It took me a long time. It's 200 pages. It's going to be awesome. I did write two other shorter books that I self-published. Wow, can you hear that? <laughs> Sorry guys. It's called it's called going downstairs for a minute to do a video. Anyways, I'll be fast. I'm I'm getting lost though. I'm getting stuck in this suddenly caring caring so much about YouTube subscribers, views, um, numbers, comments, all of this kind of thing. Um, this also happened to me when I started on Instagram. I, so when I went on Instagram, I started getting obsessed with the idea of becoming an influencer. And right now I have, I don't know, 600 followers, which is nothing like for, you know, to be an influencer they people kept saying, you know, I guess this is the number is you need 10,000 followers. Okay. Well, I don't know how to do that. And I studied it and I even took a course. And I still, it's not meant to be for me. I may have given up too early, I don't know. But something about it didn't feel right. So now I'm on YouTube and something about it feels really right. Again, growth is slow, but I can't care about that. I have to believe that, you know, whatever I'm trying to manifest, this these riches, these riches, will come to me and are already there in, in a reality that I haven't actualized yet. A version of me that hasn't become yet. Um, I feel like I come from a place of lack. I feel like I preach these things, but I'm not living them 100%. So I would like, does anyone have some direct advice? What should I do next? What am I meant to do? How do I read these signs that are, I, I see a lot of signs along the way, numbers, colors. I can manifest a purple car like it's none of your, nobody's business. What am I gonna do with all my purple cars? Anyways, guys, please let me know what you think. Leave a comment below. Um, you know, any guidance, I would love it. I'm, I'm reaching out to my, my audience. Please guys, let me know, what do you think? What do I do next? How do I know what's the right thing to do next? Should I care about subscribers? Do I? Do I keep on pushing this? I don't know. I guess do what feels right. Let me know what you think. I love you guys. A, be positive, And please stick around for the next video. Bye.